Uh, Rory's been coming to our Stay and Play sessions now uh, for just under a year. These sessions focus mainly on physical development, but cover all aspects of development, such as personal, social, emotional development, um, as well as cognitive development as well. <laughs> It's nice to see how he's progressed during the time that he's been with us, um, specifically with his, with his confidence. He's just totally different from when he first started. When he first started, he'd really cling to um, his grandparents, and now he's got his own little friend set, which is, which is lovely to see, and he'll just go off and, and do his own thing, which is great. We've been really grateful of the opportunity for all we to attend. Stand by at Woolworths, um, and he absolutely loves it. So, as a lockdown baby, he was born just a few days before the first national lockdown. The first year of his life was isolating both for him and us, that he wasn't able to see his friends and family and have that socialisation, but we weren't able to take him to baby classes or even simple things that he may, may have taken for granted um, in terms of swimming and different environments where he would be able to socialise and have that exposure. It's also been really um, useful to reinforce the healthy habits. So Rory has always been really good with his fruit. Um, he loves all kinds of fruit, but to have you know, the fruit available and to, for him to see other children, again, having that healthy habit, it reinforces what we're trying to do at home with him. Um, and things like making the fruit fun, and I know there's been activities where he's been making faces with fruit, um, and different things, it all really helps um, try to reinforce what we're doing at home. You know, we've seen Rory come on leaps and bounds in that time and he's really understanding now how to, to do basic things like sharing with other children in terms of uh, you know, him understanding emotions of other children. He's all, had all of that exposure. Rory's an only child so he's got no siblings and he's only got an older cousin so again it's really important for us to find an environment where he will be able to socialise. Um, and, and just simply play with other children of his age. And the varied activities that they offer at the stay and play are fantastic because, again, it, to reinforce, it doesn't just offer all the opportunity to play, but it's also educational play and, and creative play and activities that encourage um, and foster his development. <laughs> 